Wild children? Well, there's so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think that twixt these niggas in the South and the women in the North, all talking about rights. The white men will be in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this here talking about? That man over there say that women needs to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helped me into carriages or open mud puddles or gives me any best place. And raising herself to her full height and her voice to a pitch like a rolling thunder, she asks, And ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arm. And she bared her right arm to the shoulder, showing her tremendous muscular power. I have plowed, I planted, and gathered into barns, and no man could head me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? I have borne 13 children and seen them most all sold off to slavery. And when I cried out with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? Then they talks about this thing in the head. What, what does they call it? Intellect, someone whispered nearby. That's it, honey. What's that got to do with women's rights or nigger rights? If my cup won't hold but a pint and your holds a quart, wouldn't you be mean not to let me have my little half measure full? And she pointed her significant finger and sent a keen glance at the minister who had made the argument. The cheering was long and loud. Then that little man in back there, he say women can't have as much rights as men because Christ won a woman. Well, did your Christ come? Where'd your Christ come from? Rolling Thunder couldn't have stilled the crowd as did those deep, wonderful tones as she stood there with outstretched arms and eyes of fire, rising, raising her voice still louder, she repeated, Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. Oh, what a rebuke that was to that little man. Turning again to another objector, she took up the defense of Mother Eve. I cannot follow her through it all. It was pointed and witty and solemn, eliciting at almost every sentence deafening applause. And she ended by asserting, If the first... If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down all alone, these women together, and she glanced her eye over the platform, ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And now they is asking to do it. The men better let them. Long continued cheering greeted this. Blessed to ye for hearing on me, and now, O Sojourner, hang got nothing more to say. <laughs>